still overseas now, and the former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has died. The 86-year-old media tycoon had been treated in hospital for a lung infection linked to chronic leukaemia. He led the country three times, from 1994 to 95, 2001 to 2006, and 2008 to 2011. In his last term in office, Italy came close to a Greece-style debt crisis, and he faced numerous scandals, most notably around his notorious Bunga Bunga parties. He was impossible to ignore. Silvio Berlusconi was a giant figure in Italian life for decades on end, in politics, business, sport, and on the global stage. His fortune was built on broadcasting. He constructed a media empire and made a vast fortune. He spent some of that on moulding AC Milan into Europe's best football team and then turned his attention to politics. From the centre-right, he led four separate governments, spending more time as Prime Minister than any other post-war Italian politician. We find Silvio Berlusconi guilty. But it was never straightforward. Berlusconi was cited in dozens of criminal investigations, mostly around claims of fraud. He said that was persecution and claimed to have been in court two and a half thousand times. Trouble did follow him. Remember this woman? A Moroccan dancer nicknamed Ruby Heartstealer. Berlusconi was convicted of paying her for sex when she was just 17 years old at one of his lavish Bunga Bunga parties. <laughs> he won an appeal and laughed off the scandal. Bunga Bunga became a catchphrase, not a source of shame. Then came a conviction for tax fraud that he couldn't beat. Berlusconi was at his lowest ebb and protested furiously on one of his own TV stations. He was a global figure. He hosted three G8 meetings. That is a record. But his brand of diplomacy was eccentric. He famously left Angela Merkel hanging around while he took a phone call. Remarkably, he returned to politics once more part of the coalition that pushed Giorgio Maloney into power, still a political heavyweight into his late 80s. Silvio Berlusconi was a man who lived for the spotlight.